What is our citizenship and more our lives worth? What is the future of a democracy where a president can be assassinated under conspicuously suspicious circumstances while the machinery of legal action scarcely trembles? Treason doth never prosper, wrote an English poet. What's the reason? Well, if it prosper, none dare call it treason. The American public is yet to see the Zapruder film. Why? The American public is yet to see the real x-rays and photographs of the autopsy. Why? There are hundreds of documents that could help prove this conspiracy. Why are they being withheld or burned by the government? What kind of national security do we have when we've been robbed of our leaders? What national security permits the rule of fundamental power from the hands of the American people and validates the ascendancy of invisible government in the United States? Its most direct and tragic result was the reversal of President Kennedy's commitment to withdraw from Vietnam. The war is the biggest business in America worth $80 billion a year. President Kennedy was murdered by a conspiracy that was planned in advance at the highest levels of our government, and it was carried out by fanatical and disciplined cold warriors in the Pentagon and CIA's covert operation apparatus, among them Clay Shaw here before you. How many more political murders to size is heart attacks, suicides, cancers, drug overdoses? How many airplane and car crashes will occur before they are exposed for what they are? Some people say I'm crazy. 